Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, this is Jersey, and today we are continuing our boathouse dock area design. So originally I was going to do part 2 where we're going to start adding the, the items, right? We're going to decorate, we're going to make this area look even better than what it looks right now. But I was doing research and I was looking at more boathouses so I can see the idea of decorations, how they approach us and all that, and then I came across the idea how a lot of them are on the water you know so the boats the boats are on the water so you can approach it both ways you can have a, a boat house storage unit that's that was more of what i was going for at first but then i was like you know if i can make this work and take some inspiration from uh, the island tours that we've done and how they uh how they have those boats on the water with the houses then let's see if we can make that happen in this in this boat house dock area and and that's where we're going so this video became all still a design we're still designing the dock we're still going to be moving the pieces we're going to make the dock the stairs everything to work together so we can make this approach happen at first i was very nervous because like always once you have something built then it's always scary to undo it to do all this work to see if it works right so so yeah so i it, it was a gamble but i think for for me especially for me i did enjoy liking it i like this aesthetic better so basically what we did so you know i like my dogs a little higher up right a little higher in the water so we can have a little more height and then you see the water in a little level so what we did is i dug down enough so that the house will sit on the water so basically you know you go one square lower than the level of the water and then we can sit our the houses in there and then taking inspiration from the Aussie um, tour island that we saw how they use the stairs to make like a little dock area so that's I'm taking that element that we saw in Aussie's islands and then I'm taking the element that we saw from Leanne's islands tour and I'm combining both to so we can create this aesthetic the, this visual aesthetic of the combination of the two and that's why island tours are great right because we are taking elements we are taking inspiration and then we are applying it in our own build and this is something at, at the same time that i want you guys to see you know that and that's when i i hear a lot of your comments that the, the videos are great that the ideas are great you're getting inspired and this is an example how you guys ideas what i'm seeing have inspired me to push my bills also farther than what i thought i was able to make because i would never thought of putting two stairs the way that we're putting them right there to make a little dock and at the same you still got a little stair so it's the combination of everything right is 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 great so basically what i'm trying to do is in the front part of the dock now the houses are going to reach to the edge or um, to the edge with the dock and all that and then in between the stairs is when we are gonna the boats that we're using here they can go right in in between the two stairs and get in and they can get out and the whole look at the end for for me for my taste i really enjoy the aesthetic because it's different is 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 in a way unique but not unique that we haven't seen it because if you guys have been watching the island tours we 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 seen that combinate uh, that idea but now it's combined to create something like this so at the moment just to let you a heads up yeah i'm using the pommel steps because at the moment I didn't have enough of the hardwood steps and I wanted to try the idea. And when I was trying the idea, I was recording it, but not knowing if it was gonna look good, because if it wasn't gonna look good, then this portion of the video would not have been here. Then we would have just moved on to the next part of the video. But I did ended up liking it. So I ended up building a bunch of stairs and all that. So the whole dock can match the same aesthetic. Now, if you like the two-tone combination, if you like how the palm wood and the hardwood looks together, like always, that's going to be your choice, the way you want to decorate, the, what, what kind of tone you want to use. But I am going to change those palm wood steps. It's just I have many of those on me, on the inventory right now. So that way I didn't take too much time of the idea that was in my head. So I went ahead and used those, but those will eventually be replaced with hardwood steps. Okay, so now... I have to approach this a, a little bit different as I'm getting closer now to get get all these houses done, right? And we get them on the water, get them on the level, making this extra dock area in front of those houses. I was thinking, okay, so how am I going to walk around this dock? 
the, this area, you know, because now before I was walking in the front and stuff like that. So now we got to make like this passageway, passageways that will lead you from one area to another one. Maybe you walk in front, you can walk in the front, all in the front of the dock with all the stairs, you can walk them and all that. So that's a way we can approach it. But let's say you don't want to walk too near the water, right? So then we got to walk across other be behind the houses and stuff like that. So we're going to have these little walkways so we can get around the dock area. And at the same time, you know, if you're watching this, you're taking inspiration, you are approaching this build at the same time, you're kind of following along, feel free to tweak it. You know, if you need to make your dock wider because you want to have more space, do it. You know, right now, what I'm trying to do in here is to approach a boat dock area that's going to fit in my island, in my, in my design, in the aesthetic that I'm planning in my head, just in case. I'm not doing this to fit the sailboats, the new boats. This is just for the little boats and maybe some of the jet skis. But the sailboat, there's going to be another dock. So so, so we got the middle, right, where Franklin's at. Now we got this other section. This is uh, like a boat house uh, area, storage units, what, whichever way you want to call it. So we got this section. Now on the other side of the island, I'm waiting for the sailboat, for the update, because I gotta get the right measurements. I gotta get the right idea. I gotta place them down. I gotta see, because I have another idea for another dock, and that's gonna be for the sailboat. And and I have this cool idea that I, I wanna make it happen. I already got pictures saved up, but I need the sailboats. I need to know exactly the, the dimensions, how wide, how everything works, because the ideas that I wanna try to do are a little complicated to do it without everything, without having a sailboat to make sure, you know, how everything works, how they turn, all of that. So I'm not working on anything that has to do with the, the new sailboat. So so just in case, so if you're wondering, you know, like, man, how he's gonna, did this looks great, but how can uh, we're gonna be able to fit the sailboats here? This build is not for the sailboat. This is just for a boat house, just for the little boats and jet skis and anything small that comes in the future. The sailboats will be in the future, and but I'm gonna work on that, but that's gonna be when we get the update. So for now, just be patient. The update will come. I will, I will do my measurements. I will do my designs, and then we'll have an awesome dock that's gonna be for the sailboat. So, and I'm excited for that. I truly am because I can't wait to work on that. Okay, so, so, so we're back. So now I, I want to also expand the, the top part. I was trying to work on this little light situation because now everything is changing, right? Now we got more space on the back, maybe a little way too much space, but I still wanted to have more like storage units, uh, more houses, but I could not fit them all in the water and I'm not going to change the design. I already got the space layout and I'm happy with what I have, the, the space layout. So I don't have to have every dock on the water. So I decided that I'm going to put, I believe it was three. Once we get to that, we're going to put three more of the houses on the very top, just sitting in, in different angles. And those, uh, it's like, okay, so now those are not on the water. So those are in the back and people can can kind of go there, grab their boats and pull them and put them in the in the water. So so that's the approach. That's the thinking behind it. It could be for other type of storage. Uh, so you approach it. Do it the way you want. You can have them, don't have them. You, you want to have more open space in the back. You approach it that way. So it's going to be a, a one of those situations that is going to be more of a taste and see how you want to approach it. But then the next thing was working on all this slide just to make sure. I, I know I'm going to push the houses, those two houses that we got on the top. We're going to push them a little more on the back. So that's going to be one of the other things. And, and, and it was just a kind of tweaking. We, we, we're tweaking a lot of this stuff. And you're gonna see that I go back and forth in some of the idea. First, I was thinking that I was gonna raise uh, to make kind of like a raised storage unit for boxes and stuff like that. But like I stated earlier, I was like, you know what? I feel like it's a little too empty. I still want to feel like I got all these storage units in this dock, like all these little houses where people are putting stuff inside. So by, by thinking like that, I decided that I needed to put more. Then I was thinking on the top, Maybe I can put a third one, but I didn't have the space. I still want to have this little terrace, this little patio on, on a higher tier. So I decided not to put the third one there. So we're going to work. We're going to put another one. So we, we decided to put one one more in the corner, in the floor, kind of in the corner. And then I felt like 
I had enough that is not for, for my taste it's not too full too overwhelmed but it feels good you know like like when, when, when I start looking at it from far away and all that I see all the storage unit I see everything that's gonna work okay so so now since I got more space now I decided that I want to make this little uh, terrace area a little more bigger in this section I'm gonna go with a couple design I went all in I went all out thinking to do something grand but the grand didn't fit the aesthetic okay and okay so so I'm gonna be building this I, I almost decided not to leave this on video but as a design concept it has to be a little lower so I feel like the columns that I'm making here they can be higher so you have more of a gap that the reason is I already made it to the highest level that we are allowing the income so I ended up not liking it and I think it needs to be a little more wider it needs to be a little bit more bigger that to fit all this column because it made the space in the middle feel so small but if you're watching this and if you had the space and if you like the design this is something and also you can add in this this kind of design aspect idea anywhere else in the island I'm probably gonna be doing the idea of this design but in a grander scale in some place that it will fit better uh, visually aesthetic and all of that it's just at the end it didn't it didn't look good to me I I I kind of did it twice I did it this version that we're seeing then I took some of them off and then I thought I was gonna be happy but then I, I came back the following day logging again I looked at it again and I was like you know what it's just it's too much the columns that were too much for my for my taste for what I was feeling it felt like everything was a block it just it wasn't fitting the this area and I wanted the patio to be open so you can kind of see everything so so this approach this section here uh, as you see I'm gonna take some of the fences out I'm gonna take some of the greenery and the other fence because I was then I, I, I was like man I'm, I'm running out of space so I'm gonna have to to kind of expand this and I try to do it the best way I can without trying to ruin the design but like I stated earlier I already know I already, I already have enough space I like the viewing angle I like that you can see the whole area all the way from Franklin all the way from the double bridge uh, overpass area so I know I don't I don't need to go bigger I don't need to go wider so I can make this fit I'm already, I'm already happy so this is like the opposite of what happened to me before on the volleyball court on the volleyball court I was compromising this the idea because I just already kind of have almost everything done and I didn't want to do this and that but then everything was feeling cramped now this one is different I like the layout I truly do I like the, the length I like the distance I already checked the angles I already checked the viewpoints so I'm happy I'm truly happy with the spacing that I'm working with it's just now the idea that I wanted to do something very special here it wasn't gonna work and then aesthetically for what I'm truly visioning and what I wanted what I'm looking at pictures online to trying to recreate here then it wasn't really matching for what I'm trying to do and I'm trying to explain it the best way so basically the idea is that that I'm happy of the spacing that I have so it's working and to get to the point that what what the inspiration is hitting what the inspiration that I'm getting from and looking at to apply it to the place I had to go through like three or three times four times whichever times type of design to make this work and then at the end the end result uh, not in this video particularly uh, but it got very close but the end result is gonna be better than what we're seeing here so so basically I I've already been working after I finished recording the, this part two right I already got to the point that I know part two was done you know I and I needed to edit and all that the other day I was still already I started recording a little bit of the part three and that's when I started approaching a little more this section here and I started tweaking a little bit more because in part three we're going all in on decorating so and that's the good news so now you guys got a little uh, a glimpse of what's coming the part three is gonna be decorating it's gonna be putting item placement just making this area feel there's a little couple more changes like always because as you're decorating you're doing the changes that you need for the build but at the end this process this process that you're seeing is is something that we all go through you know and I'm gonna leave it in 
because I think the bill was good. If this bill was lower, the floor, the main square in the middle was lower. And I think if we went a little more square and a little more wide, I think this bill would work really, really well. And especially for another area. And like I stated, I do believe that I'm going to be using this type of bill in the future somewhere that I need something like this and it's gonna be a good centerpiece or a good part of a bill connecting to something else or maybe a grand viewpoint somewhere maybe that when you're standing there you're seeing something so it will come in the future we'll probably be recreating this bill at some point but if you like it you can make it work maybe you're making your docking area all flat right and you don't have a second tier then you can make this starting from the lower and then raise it up and then have the, the high columns that I, I was trying to do so you have the spacing between the character and the roof and then you, you can actually do a more of a centerpiece seating and all of that in the middle and then that will work great and then you have your dock you have your seating area and and you can make all that work and like I always say it's gonna be depending your approach you know I know you all are getting inspiration you are guys getting inspired and applying some of this idea I know some of you have commented or wrote me directly that are really imitating some of these builds uh, and to make them work in your island and I'm very grateful and so glad to hear that and then some of you are just getting inspiration to the point that you guys can tweak this build and make it your own and that's also so great to hear because I love that I, I love that idea that you guys are taking inspiration so you can take it to your island and then apply it to your island and make it work for whatever you are building next to it or in the area and all of that and that's great because as we keep doing hopefully more island tours we keep approaching that and seeing more inspiration then we all gonna keep inspiring each other and building this our Dinkum Islands better and better each every time and then redoing our sections again and or maybe starting a new save file and that's always gonna be fun and like always I'm doing a coastal town theme so no a lot of you are doing a coastal town theme a lot of you guys are still using a lot of normal trees and a, a lot of their their the greener grass and all of that and using more flowers than what I'm using I'm doing a coastal town and that's my theme for this town right here so I'm I'm keeping everything very tropical, very beach feel, a lot of dogs, a lot of water, and that's the approach. But I know a, a lot of this can be applied in other sections of the town with tweaking and all of that, or just using the layout. You know, instead of this, you could make a lake house dock, you know, and you make a lake and you make a dock and it's just a lake and it's surrounded just by uh, the normal dirt all around it. And that's actually a good idea for the future for when I make the forest town. So that's a way you can approach the layouts. So even though the layouts are made in the tropical town and all that, you can apply anywhere in any style. It's just depending on the decorations you wanna use and that's what's gonna bring your builds to a, to a whole different level. Okay, so here. So we finally got to the point that I felt like, okay, I got the width, I got the height, I got this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this section break because the idea was to use the, the bridges to make the, the roof and, and it's kind of making a big uh, canopy uh, style design, very big. It, they're very popular in, in the beach areas and people sit on top and you still get the sun. The, and the plan was to put umbrellas and all of that. But at the end, it just felt too, too blocky for the style that I was gonna approach here. It wasn't matching the area, the aesthetic that I was trying to do. And, and it just felt like too much, especially when I put the bridge, then it felt like the roof was so close to, to you. Like, and then I couldn't see anything that I wanted to look when you're standing there and look at the, all the views. It just, it wasn't working for me. Okay, so this right here, I finally decided to fix it. It was bothering me a little bit because originally I, I, the plan was to make a tree, right? But then I noticed that it wasn't kind of matching well with the bridge. And it, it, it was bothering me. So I went ahead and combined it with the other section that's too, too wide uh, in the middle. And we're just gonna tie it in. And once I did this, it just, now it felt so much better. Like everything was matching with the bridge. We got the same length. It just, it blended in very well. I was more happy. It was more comfortable. And it's just, it looked great. So I'm, I'm happy with the outcome now. It just, it just, it just, it, it's matching. It's just good. 
now and when you take that turn everything is equal it's, it just looks good right okay so here we are again so now i finally made some bridges it's just something that i needed to do and now we're going to try to apply this to fall in this uh, sections here and as you're going to see we, we're going to start putting them but can you see how now the roof feels like it's so low and because I, I wanted the columns to have a little bit of a design because I was planning to put a little greenery on the top. So I, I, I know I could maybe go gone in a little one more higher, but it just wasn't at the end. Even if I went one more higher, it still felt kind of low and I wasn't, I just wasn't enjoying it. It wasn't visually pleasing for me at this particular moment. And then the spacing in the middle, and then it was really hard to see the surrounding areas that I wanted. And then here I'm just checking. I'm checking all the angles like I always see how it looks from far away. And I truly, I even looking at it right now again, it's just not working for me. But the design, I do want to use it again. I want to approach this in another area. But I do feel like if, if maybe this was matching the second flooring completely like the just where you're going to place the furniture, you bring it down or even lower than that and you had a high roof, I think that it, then it will feel good. And then if we can go wider, if we if, I, if you can go wider in every direction, maybe by two, three more squares, just just so, so you can have that width, so you can have then the, the size, the big windows, and then you can see into what you wanna see. But if you like it small and it works for you and you like the a little more uh, in, intimacy and just very close very nice and you like that tie then hey it, it works it works great and that's always gonna be taste you know I know a lot of you guys are probably watching this and be like I like that I don't know why why he think it, it look wrong it's just you know when, when we're building and when you're building you know what you want you know what you're looking for you know what kind of aesthetics that you're trying to approach and, and what you're trying to really make and what you're trying to build. And when you have that in your head, it's really hard to pivot from there. Even though for other people it could look good, what you're trying to do is, is just not working and then your mind stays there. And then here, um, now I'm, what, what I decided to do was take the roof off, take that off and see how that look. And, and just kind of maybe if I leave the columns, and all of that and then I decided to lower the columns uh, the one that is in the corner of each section lower a little more and then I decided that I needed to build some flags and get some uh, flags so I can put the flags in there in four corners and that kind of helped a little bit I felt like the flags brought something and, and you see those a lot in, in coastal towns and in the beach area there's a lot of flags flying around so I, I feel like when, once I got to that point everything was feeling better and then adding the lights now here because I wanted to see if the spacing that I had was good enough to be to use or if I needed to do something else. And I like the spacing. I could imagine by putting the lights, putting the fence that you're seeing now and maybe putting a few, uh, just a small seating area. It's just small enough because this is supposed to be kind of like a, a seating area or a viewpoint that you're going to see because from one angle that we don't have nothing built over there but there, there's gonna be a pool, there's gonna be other section from that part of the town that we're gonna be able to see from there. So I'm already getting prepared, and that's why in many ways I wasn't happy with the original design because having the roof, it just felt very close, and then my viewpoints between the camera, it was blocking the, the view, right? Okay, so, so I made the flags, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, and put them on each of the corner, and I was happy, I was liking the feel of it, I was liking the look. I think the frag brought a little more, it, it brought a little more height after the columns. So it, it, it kind of breaks that height up and, it, and then it's a little higher also than the light. So everything was working together. And I was happy and I was content and I just kept messing with it, you just tweaking. And when you're approaching stuff like this, you know, take your time, don't, don't worry about being too fast or trying to compromise you know if if because right here i was kind of happy i was like okay this looks so much better than what i had before it's still not to what i really wanted but when i was looking at it, i was like you know it's, it's looking better it's looking good but i didn't know what else to do at that particular moment so i decided let me take a break from there 
and do other stuff. I walk the area, you start looking. And, and when you're approaching builds or situations that you feel like you're stuck, that you don't know what you wanna do, truly take a break, work on something else. Let it simmer in your mind. Come back a little later. Let, you need sometimes a refresher on your eyes to be able to, to look at the bill in a whole different way. And then, and then what I'm doing right now is just going back and forth, back and forth, and just making sure, you know, sometimes you need to do this. It's not building, it's not trying to come up with an old, something else. It's just looking and look at it from different angle and see what you feel that you need to do. So, okay, so now I finally took some time. Like I said, you know, I'm gonna leave that behind for now. And I I like what, I, what we did with the dock, but now so I can see it truly finish to make sure that, that I truly like it. I was like, okay, so now we need to make it all hardwood, you know, so everything looks good, put the houses and then put all the hardwood stairs now on, on the dock because I, I need to see this completely finished. I, we need to see how the build looks completely done. And then I got some boats. Okay, so now we're in the portion of the video that I, I wanna say thank you to Leanne. So you guys have heard Leanne with her island tour. So she kinda has been a little team member of Jersey Games now. In, in, uh, she has offered to help us a lot on a lot of the materials, a lot of gathering, a lot of these uh, the, the houses that we're using here. She she went out, out of her way. She teamed up. Uh, she and she built a lot of those. She also helped me build some of the boats because in this particular build, I, I needed, you know, that there was a lot more to do. And 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 she was so grateful. You know, she messaged me again. She's like, "Hey, do, do you and Nestor need any help? I got some free time and all that." And you know, we talked again and all that. And uh, I'm very grateful that that she wanted to help out help us out in this way. And I just want to give her a shout out because, you know, she's working on her island. I went over there the other day uh, to collect the material and she's done some really amazing new stuff, uh, new approaches to builds that we have seen or done. And and, and one day, once she has more, we're going to do a part two of that island in the future so we can see. So we won't see a lot of the island, we're just going to see a lot of the new stuff. But that's coming in the future, you know, down the road once she has more to show and all that. But you know, um, you know she she's been really great help. So this bill could come out quicker because if not, it would have taken a lot longer uh, to do all this and to make it feel full and to have all the houses. Because you know it takes time to gather material. So uh, having her as part of the team working right now uh, to gather all this is being a truly amazing help. Okay, so we finished that. We're putting all the dogs in the front, right? And we put all the steps and I liked it. I liked it so much. I think now the dog looks complete. And like I say, if you like the two-tone, go with the two-tone. If you like the gum will better, uh, go with whichever way you wanna go when you're approaching this build. But I like the dark wood because it looks a little aged. It looks like a little like it's been with the weather and it's just, you no know, wood gets really dark because of the weather and all that. So I like this look. So finally I had this idea, I'm like, okay, so what about if I take the, all the columns off, completely it off, make it feel open, but just leave the flags. So that was my next approach to kind of feel this area to see if I can get it completely finished. You know, because I kind of wanted to mo move on from this, but as, as, as I was working on other stuff and let my brain rest for a moment, I was able to think a little bit better. You know, so you know what? I think I got an idea. Let's take the columns and let's see how this feels because the approach that I want is so it can feel open, right? So we can stand and look. And then I was very happy. See how you see everything all the way through in the back? Because that's the look that I'm going for. So it looks good. You see the, the back, you can see the side. I still like the flags. I think the flags looks great uh, being up there and high now and with all the lights. And then what I ended up doing, I left the brick in the floor in the corner because I think it just gives it a little more accent, more a little design, more uh, something more fun uh, instead of just hardwood or cement. So, so we can break a little bit of the pattern. So when you're looking in the background and you're looking behind the houses, behind that, then you see a little brick, you see a little hardwood, you see a little cement. So that's more like a design techniques, but also it's taste. You may, you may look at it right now, you're like, I don't know, I, he should have just gone with cement or maybe just with hardwood. So, and that's why you sometimes 
when we say it's all about taste, it's all about what you feel and what you like, and it's very important because at the end, you are the one that has to be happy. You know, you gotta be happy with your island, you gotta be happy with your design, you gotta be happy with the way you're approaching, the way everything is tight, tied together in your island. You are the one that has to be happy because that's your playthrough, that's your game, that's your baby, that's your, that's your creative, you know? And only you know what you like. You are the only one that know what, what aesthetics you like, what decoration you like, what's full, what's big, what's small. For you, it's gonna be completely different than anybody else. And be happy, and always be happy. And the most important is you gotta be happy at the end of your build. You know, don't worry about everybody else. Just be happy of what you created. If you're happy, then you did an awesome job. And that's that's how you gotta get there. That's how you gotta approach it. You know, don't compare yourself with anybody else. You know, because that's always hard. Even for me, when I watch all the people, all the creative minds, I'm like, wow, how they do that? How they make that part? All I can do is my best, try to get to that level, try to practice, and then be happy with my bill. You know, and then it's, it's better to be happy with your bill and what you created than be unhappy because you're trying to create something and it's just, it's not working, but you wanna leave it because you think it looks cool. No, be happy with what you created and approach it that way. So, so now we're just walking. I'm just filling the area, seeing where I want all these boats to put, to make, um, put it more strategically, put it more in places that it makes sense, where, where would they land, how they will look, um, and that way it feels like it's more busy, you know? So, and all, and all these boats, that, they, the good thing they're not hard to make, so that's a, a great thing, especially when you're doing stuff like this. Um, but it just brings life to it there it brings movement you see those ripples of water and just the whole combination of everything it looks really good so i'm putting more boats over here on the very top just to see how everything is fitting and then i was trying to see if somehow like the game lets you maybe put two if you put them in different ways but it, it wasn't like time working that way you can only put one at a time and that's fine because that that's the idea it's just uh it's just a boat house dock storage place and all of that but now we, like always, we're gonna keep walking, we're gonna keep looking, we're gonna keep checking. And then I had this other idea. I was like, okay, it looks a little plain. I feel like I need a little greenery, right? So I was like, what about if I lower the floor, put the brick, so the brick accent is still there, put the brick flower box, and then add that greenery in. Two corners green, and the middle towards the inside, then you put the, the purple flower. And guys, for me, that really finally make the bill because now it's open, it's big, it's high. You can see all around it. You got the brick, you got the dark wood, and on the steps, I truly like the palm wood look because it goes with the fence. So I, I like to break that up in here. I do like it. And then it just it was working together. It looked good. It looked great. It's just now I feel like this bill is more complete, the design aspect of it, the approach of it, and now adding this little extra greenery on the sides as you're looking at it. And it, because sometimes those little details, it's not like you're looking for them. Some, sometimes your eye goes to the big thing, but then when you're focusing, when you're walking, when you're looking at more, and then even from back here, you see that little extra green now on the top next to the flag. For me, those are the details that are very important at the end when you're approaching your final stages of the bill, you know, the, the details that are gonna make the bill stand out. And I forgot to talk about that little extra little island. That little island is just, it gives it a little break on the water. Like there's this little section that the, the there was a little higher and all that, just like I got on the other areas. So I just wanted to do one, I, just one, nothing else. I didn't wanna do like two or three because it's supposed to be more open. But for me, I wanted a little more aesthetic in the water, something that you can kind of look at and have a little greenery in there. So here, I, I wanted to finish to the, the little dock, take off the sand. I still need to do it underneath the houses. Uh, I just didn't do it at this particular moment, but that's something that I still need to work on. And I believe even right now, I've not done it. So I need to actually go back and fix that. But yeah, but, so we got this, we are we are working, we are approaching, we, we are now getting to the design aspect. I think now in this point, in time when um, I know I'm getting now to the point that I know I'm happy, truly happy with the bill, with the outcome, with the dock, some of them being on the water that you can go in and out already on the water and that whole combination. Now here, 
I noticed, and I know I don't know what happened. I don't know why I didn't think of it. But I made this row only three, so this row will have to be fixed because I in this town I'm making most of my roads four, uh, four, four wide. So I'm actually gonna have to fix this. So if you are following this build and you're doing this and you got to that point making that row, just make make sure that you go one more out because I'm gonna I am gonna make this four wide for for the future. So uh, so that's gonna be in one of the following videos. Over here, I wanted to try this fence uh, to give it a little more color to break down. Uh, so it's not all palm wood, and I, for my taste, I think I like it because you, you see the Telly Tower, and it has those, that orange break with the white. So having that orange in the back against the green as you're looking at it, I truly liked it. I enjoyed it. I think I'm gonna keep it. I think if I feel like just having that different fence right there, I need to make more. I ran out. So that's something that I need to work on so I can finish that right there. But for that particular area, I do like that copper fence. I think it just matches better, looks better, feels good. And now we're getting very close to just, we're just doing the final walkthroughs, right? And I'm just walking from far away. I'm just imagining I'm, I'm coming over the bridge, looking at this way. And the reasons I do this a lot is because I wanna make sure that I'm, I'm looking at it in every possible way just to see if I see something off, something that I don't like, something that I feel that needs to change before I move on to the next project. And you are never gonna be done. We are never gonna get to that point that you can catch everything. So there's there's gonna be probably some changes as I start doing the decorating and putting the item placement. I may have to move some things, do something different. But at the end, everything that we're looking at it, I'm just so happy the way everything look. And especially when you look from over here, this is something important that I wanna make sure that you can see this area from this distance and it looks good, looks great. And everything, it just ties everything together from all the way from Franklin to all the way from the back. It's just a great view. But here we are, we made it to the end of the video. The design aspect, I believe is complete. So part three, we'll start putting items. we we'll start filling the dog and see how can we make this dog feel alive. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit a like, subscribe if you wanna see more videos, and we'll see you next time. All right, see you later, bye.